Hello again from Fieldhouse Equestrian Centre. The badge we're going to do this week is going to be the colour and markings badge and this will be suitable for all ages if you don't already have it. Now we're going to have a little look around the farm and have a look at the different coloured horses that we have here. There are more coloured horses than what we've got so the older children especially I would like you to have a little read up and see if you can find some other colours too. Now at the end of the video I'll explain what you need to do for your badge. So this is Anna. Anna would be classed as a spotted horse by her colour, but she's got quite an unusual marking. So she's nearly leopard spotted, but she's not completely covered. And also the dark marks on her in this colour would be called a varnish roan. They will probably fade as she gets older. So when she gets older, she'll probably end up almost completely white with just those black dots left on her. So this is Flora. Flora is probably one of the easiest colours to tell because she is just black. Um, she is part Frisian and Frisian horses are normally black, which will be where she gets her colour from. Now, if we can get Flora to look at us, we can see that on her head there, she's got a white star, which is a little white part between her eyes. And on the tip of her nose, she has what we would call a snip. Her legs are completely black, so she has no markings on her legs. So all three horses tied up here would actually be classed as piebald horses, which means they are theoretically black and white. Now we'll have a closer look at each of them and I'll explain why they all would be classed as piebald. Now first up here we have Dolly, who looks very clearly like a piebald. She is a very clear black and white, that's good to see. Now on Dolly's head she's got quite unusual markings, you can see she's got a little bit of white above her eye a little white mark on the side and a white chin. Now they don't have specific names, but when she was passported by the vet, they would be marked on the passport and it would make it very easy for you to recognize Dolly from other horses. Okay, now if we move around to Safi. Safi again is a very clear black and white, which is good to see. And you can see on Safi's head there, she's got quite a wide white blaze. And she also has quite an unusual white mark a little bit further up that again doesn't have a specific name but would be marked on the passport okay now this is the one that's a little bit unusual so this is coco and if we were to look at coco now we would probably think that she was gray but actually when coco was born she was a very dark gray and white so on her passport she would be classed as a piebald even though now that she's got older she's lost her color so this is diva she's one of the livery horses and she is a dark bay, so she has a very dark brown colour coat with a black mane tail and she's got all black legs apart from on the back there you can see she's got a very small white leg and we'll call that a white sock. The next two horses we're going to look at two of Rachel's horses so this first one is Rocky and you can see he's a much lighter colour than that last bay that we looked at so he is a bay but we would call him a bright bay and on his legs on the back there, he has two white socks. And if we move around to the front, we can see at the front, he has a very small white mark, which we would just call a white coronet. Okay, but he quite distinctively has again, the black mane, tail, and the black legs where he doesn't have his socks. So this is another of Rachel's horses. This is Paddy. Now, when we first got Paddy, we assumed he was a dun horse. But actually, when we looked at him properly, his true colour is buckskin because he doesn't have a dorsal stripe, which is a black stripe, which would run from his wither right down to his tail. OK, his back is exactly the same colour as his sides. Now, if we look down at his legs, we can see he's got a white sock on the back right. And the other two are a little bit smaller. So we would call these a white fetlock. Now we'll have a little look to his head. If we can get Paddy to look at us, we can see that Paddy has a white stripe, which is much thinner than a blaze. So we've managed to catch the ponies having a little snooze in the sunshine today. Now this here is Dale. It's a little bit hard to see for the sun, so I'll try and come around the other side so we've got the sun out of him so you can see the colour of him a little bit better. And we would call Dale brown. Because for all he's very dark, you can see that he's got a very brown tinge to his coat and his mane also is brown as well. 
Okay, now the other two there, so we've got Ernie laid down and we've got Charlie's big bottom. We've already done their colour, so who can remember what colour Ernie and Charlie would be? So I think everybody will recognise this little pony. This is Toby, and Toby is a chestnut. have a mixture of dark and white colours splat through its coat so this horse that we're looking at here we would class as a strawberry roan because it's a mixture of chestnut and white hairs going through his body and he also it's quite hard to see for his long fall off but he's got white coming over both of his eyes so we would also say that he had what we call a white face because it covers a very large area and is much bigger than a blaze so we've just seen there a strawberry roan pony now this is mitch most of you again will recognize and Mitch is what we would call a blue roan so Mitch has a mixture of dark gray and white flecks through his coat now you can see there very clearly the change between his summer and his winter coat so he's still got a lot of extra white hairs where his winter coat hasn't come out yet and the darker hairs where his summer coat is coming through we'll see if we can get him to stand a little bit further away being a little bit too friendly there so there's his winter coat over his bottom and there's his really nice summer coat coming through you can very clearly see in his winter coat those white flecks and there's Miley wanting to come and see as well so Miley again is a piebald we have an awful lot of those here and Miley's a little bit unusual because he's got a white ear we can come around the side and see that and that's when we come down the field it's a really good way to pick him out from the other now Freddie is a chestnut so theoretically the same colour as Toby has a much darker coat colour and a much darker mane and tail but because it's brown we would still call him a chestnut and the reason I want us to have a little look at Freddie is because he's one of the few that we've got that has stockings so if we look there on Freddie's back legs we can see that the white goes up beyond his hocks and so we would call that a stocking rather than a sock so this is one of our yearlings <laughs> And he is actually half brother to Flora, the black horse that you saw first. Now, he looks like he's got a bit of a brown cast to his coat, but that's actually just where his coat has been coming out because he's had quite a thick winter coat in. Now, if he'll let us get round and have a little look at his head, though, he was jet black born, but he will actually turn grey. So can you see there on his head how his head is starting to turn grey? And the mare that he was out of was actually a white grey. And they'll often start and they'll be born black and then their colour will as they get older and older it will fade away and he'll turn grey and then probably get lighter and lighter as he gets older you can start to see the grey flecks there coming through on his head so this is saffron saffron is a skew bald we'll scan across our whole body and you can see here that she is a sort of light chestnut and white now, a skewbald is when it's brown and white, so it can be as light as this or even lighter, but it could also be as dark brown as we have Snickers. So anything that is brown and white, we would call a skewbald. So these two ponies here belong to Annabelle and Ruby. The pony on the left is a Palomino, so it's got a golden coloured coat with an almost white mane and tail. And the pony on the right is a grey. So even though it looks completely white, we would always still class it as a white grey. We always call them grey ponies. Okay, so for those of you that are eight years and under, to achieve the mini badge, what I want you to do is to colour in a horse for me. And I want you to make it a bay horse. And I want it to have a white blaze and two white socks. And if you could email that through to me. Now, if you already have the mini badge or you are age over eight, what I want you to do is colour in a horse. You can make it any colour you want. And I want it to have three distinctive marks. So that could be something like a star, a blaze, a sock, a stocking. You can decide but right on the horse what colour you've made it, what markings you've put on. And for the big badge, you also need to know your points of the pony. So if you could mark on it at least 15 points of the pony, a little bit like this picture here. Some that are not on this picture too, so I can see that you know them all. And again, email that through to me as well. Mm -hmm.